Hi, and welcome back. In this lesson, we'll teach you how to do horizontal swiping using paging containers in Protopie. Swipe, similar to scroll, is a common navigation pattern that helps users complete tasks rapidly and intuitively. We'll use an Instagram-like social app to learn how to swipe in between sibling screens. Now, let's get swiping. Open the starting pie in Protopie Studio. We have three different pages on the scene with each page grouped into a screen size container. Setting up swipe views is not so different from scrolling. It can be easily done with Protopie's container feature. In the toolbar, find container, then select paging container. Drag and draw the area that covers the entire screen. Now with this container, you've created a swipeable area for your content. From the layer panel, drag the camera chat, and home containers all into the newly created container, so Protopie knows you want to swipe them. Quick pro tip, don't forget to rename this new container for good practice. Let's preview and see how the paging container works. Swipe, and voila! The chat screen snaps right in. Great job! With everything happening automatically like magic, you may wonder how you can tinker with your own interactions. So let's take a further look into the properties of a paging container. First and foremost is the direction. This lets you decide the swipe or scroll direction of your content by simply switching the options between vertical and horizontal. Once the direction is set, Protopie generates the scroll distance automatically based on the paging container's width or height. Let's say you have a vertical paging view similar to the TikTok app. With the paging container covering the whole screen, the scroll distance will be the height of the container. For our case, since we're dealing with a horizontal view here, the scroll distance takes the width of the paging container. With that said, simply changing the size of the paging container will affect the scroll distance. But to customize the scroll distance, a paging container has more to offer, which is the page by option. So how does it work? Let's say you have a horizontal scroll view in your e-commerce app to show different products, and every time you want to swipe one item away. With the default setting, Page By Container, you would want to group the items into a paging container whose width is equal to the scroll distance. In this case, the width of one item, plus the space in between. Using this method, increase the touch area to make the entire row touchable. Quick pro tip, you can have a paging container that covers the entire width, so you don't have to worry about its touchability. This will instruct Protopie to scroll a specific amount. Simply switch the Page By option under Container to Custom. The scroll distance is the same, but this time calculate it and punch in the desired value. See how Protopie makes it easy to have flexible control over your swipeable interaction? Now back to our social app. You might have noticed early on that the paging container doesn't allow you to swipe left. This is because the default scrolling value starts from zero pixels and swiping to the left gives us a negative amount, which doesn't work in Protopie. There are two ways to fix this, and both ideas are pretty similar. When scrolling, you want to avoid negative values. We must get our camera page to start from zero pixels so that no pages will reach a negative distance when swiped. Now back to Studio. Before we continue, you might be wondering why all the other pages suddenly became invisible. Since a paging or a scroll container has clip sublayers checked by default, let's turn it off for convenience. Next, let's move the three pages to the right by one screen width so that our camera page now starts from zero. We're almost done. With the paging container selected, go to the property called scroll. What this does is set a default scroll distance every time you load or refresh your prototype. Set this value to the width of one page, and you're done. Let's do a final preview. Now, every time the scene loads, you're at the home screen, and our swipe gestures are working perfectly. Final pro tip. Since we're talking about the initial state of your prototype, this is when the start trigger can be quite handy. Instead of changing the scroll value of the container, Let's use a start trigger, then assign a scroll response and make it scroll to 375 pixels. Don't forget to set the duration to zero 
so the paging view instantly scrolls one page away as you run your prototype. So you learned there's usually more than one way to do the same thing in Protopie. You just need to find the one that works best for you. See you in the next one.